Okay, good morning uh, everyone and uh, welcome to the, this is the third school that we're uh, having in this format. This year the uh, subject that we chose is bilinear pairings in, in cryptography, which I assume that you all know. Okay, so the uh, just some thank yous and some general announcements. So firstly, the school was made possible to mainly due to the uh, European Research Council, the ERC, who sponsored the, the vast uh, uh, amount needed for this uh, school. We also had support from Barilan University and the Checkpoint Institute for Information Security. So thank you to uh, everyone for that. What are the aims of the school? Uh, as everyone here knows, bilinear maps uh, have become an important tool in cryptography with many applications. It's a highly active area of research. However, there is a certain uh, non-trivial barrier to uh, getting into the topic. It, uh, there's a lot of background, a lot of uh, uh, knowledge needed to understand really what's going on behind them. And our aims in, in the school is to understand, to start really from the very beginnings of the basics of elliptic curves, elliptic curve cryptography, and move on to bilinear maps and applications. And that's in general the format that we have for uh, our winter schools, uh, rather than bringing many lecturers to uh, uh, each, for, and each, per each lecturer give a talk which is mainly focused, I guess, on, the on their latest results or on results which are most interesting to them, to really build a school where we start from the beginning, get the basics, go forward, uh, in this school, actually, there are a number of quite specific topics, but in every specific topic, there's enough time to really get a very in-depth uh, treatment of the topic and to come out at the end of the school with a real understanding of what's going on in the field, to definitely to be able to go to a conference and understand to a much better level the new results that are appearing and in, in, the, in this field, like in last year's topic as well and the year before. Uh, there are many, many results at every conference. Uh, but also to be able to uh, get into, uh, to begin research, to get into the field, to uh, uh, have more of a basis, and, uh, and uh, that's, that's the aim. So we have uh, just a few lecturers this year. We have six, and they're all, every, every single one of them is really a, a world-renowned expert in, in, in the field. And they built a very coordinated program uh, going from the beginning all the way through to the end of applications, as uh, you can see in the book, and we'll discuss a little bit later on. So uh, we'll say thank you to them. Uh, first, we'll uh, start with thanks to Yonit Homberger, who's sitting outside. Uh, Yonit, I don't know if she can hear me, but uh, she arranged uh, everything you see here and everything that will be happening in the next four days. And uh, we'll have an opportunity to thank her more later on when she can actually hear us thanking her. Uh, as far as the speakers, uh, I'd like to thank uh, them all. That's Dan Bonnet, Jens Groth, Florian Hess, Alison bishop Luca, Anna Lysianskaya, and Nigel Smart. Uh, so really, again, it's not a matter of uh, a speaker who came and you know prepared a half an hour or even an hour and a half talk on a topic that uh, you know a recent result of theirs, but they really built a program, coordinated a program, discussed with each other, built uh, slides especially for the school, and uh, so really we we should thank them for all that work. So I think we can start by thanking them. Of course, we're assuming they're not going to speak really badly, but uh, that we'll know later on. Uh, let's just go through them very briefly. Uh, uh, so uh, I don't know how good the graphics is up here, but uh, so Dan Bonnet, a professor at Stanford University, uh, without a doubt a leader in applied cryptography in general and applications of pairings in particular. I'm only going to say a few words about each speaker, so uh, I can actually have long eulogies about every single one of them, but we'll wait until they die to do that. Uh, Jens Groth is, uh, I would say, a professor at the University College in London, but there they call it a reader in cryptology. I think it's basically the same thing. And, yes has, and Jens has done breakthrough work in non-interactive zero-knowledge, whereas uh, NISC, as we call it, uh, uh, back when I was doing my graduate studies was uh, something which was uh, a very nice theoretical object but no way of any, uh, there's no way possible in the world you could imp ever think of implementing such a thing. Uh, today the situation is very different and that's mainly to, due, due to Jens's work. Uh, Florian Hess is a professor at the University of Oldenburg. I'll skip all the bit before that because I can't say it. He's an expert in number theory and algebraic geometry with applications to cryptography and he is, has a lot of work on the foundational results on the computations of pairings. And last day of school, of the school, he'll really go into depth in how actually we compute these pairings and how the mathematics works behind them, which is, uh, if you want to do at least it's my belief, if you want to do research in a subject, understanding really what's going on 
underneath is, is very, very important. Uh, Alison is a postdoc at uh, Microsoft Cambridge, so I guess you could sh say she's our uh, younger speaker, but uh, that uh, goes only to her credit since uh, she has really major results in applications of pairings to advanced encryption schemes, attribute, attribute, that's a typo, attribute based encryption, functional encryption, and of course uh, uh, much more. And uh, she's also a great speaker, so I'm sure we'll enjoy hearing her. Uh, Anna uh, Lysianskaya, we can also congratulations because she just got married, so congratulations to Anna. Um, I'm allowed to say that, right? Yeah. And she's a professor at Brown University. She's an expert on privacy anonymity, even though I just broke her privacy. And she has uh, major results in the area of uh, anonymous credentials and many, many other things, but she'll mainly talk about the applications of pairings in that, uh, in that field. Nigel Smart is an Australian uh, uh, football player, and uh, he thought he was in just an English nerd. He's actually, oh, maybe this is the Nigel Smart we really mean. Uh, he's, he's a professor at the University of Bristol, without a doubt a world leader in elliptic curve cryptography, having written a number of books, uh, many, many papers, not just in elliptic curve cryptography, but also pairings and many, many other topics. And he'll speak to us uh, mainly today and give us the basics so that we can understand everything else that everyone else is going to talk about throughout the rest of the school. Uh, participants, so who's here? So there are about uh, 55 or so Israelis, but then we have uh, uh, about uh, 60 overseas participants, which is really great to see. The, uh, we have the biggest contingencies from USA, Germany, and the UK. We have also a nice amount from Denmark, Poland, Italy, Austria, France, India, Switzerland, Hong Kong, Luxembourg, and I hope we didn't miss any. Uh, so really we have a nice international audience and uh, hope during the four days you'll also have time to mix and speak and coord and network, etc., etc. That's also a, a nice benefit from the, the school. A couple of uh, announcements. So we're actually not on the campus of the university. The campus of the university is over there. You can see there's like this wire fence. So you actually need an ID if you want to go onto campus. I don't know why you necessarily would want to, but if you want to, you need an ID on you. In general, in Israel, it's not a bad idea to have an ID on you uh, at all times. It could be a driver's license or something else. Uh, it's not mandatory. There is a wireless connection, uh, which I hope works here, but I'm not 100% sure. It's called Barilan Guest. Has anybody tried to connect to it yet? It works? Okay, so it's just Barry Langes. It's a public network, no password. Uh, we're hoping that everybody who came here are mathematical nerds and don't really know how to hack into everybody else's machine because there's no password or any, any security, but um, there's no guarantee on that. On Tuesday evening, we have an excursion to the old city of Jaffa. You'll see where uh, Yona got swallowed up by a whale and Napoleon also tried to uh, uh, conquer the Middle East. And after that, we'll go to dinner in, have dinner in Tel Aviv. Um, so that's uh, keep in mind for everyone. Another announcement, been asked to ask people to try to not eat and drink in the hall. To try. I don't know if you'll succeed, but we can try. Uh, it's important to be punctual because we do have, uh, uh, there are a reasonable number of breaks, but we have uh, a heavy schedule, so please try to be punctual. Making it to the bus in the morning if you're coming from the hotel and coming into the hall, but I called you in from, all in from outside and you're coming so quickly, so... So I guess I don't even have to say that. Uh, the buses, pay attention to the times. If you're at the hotel, you've, you know the times the buses are coming. We know that many of you want to go to uh, Tel Aviv. And so on Monday and Wednesday evening, the bus will go back from the school to the hotel. We'll wait there for half an hour so you can get changed, do whatever you want, and it will go to Tel Aviv. It will drop you off. I'm not exactly quite sure where. Maybe we'll ask Claudio to make a decision on that. He's our Tel Aviv expert. And, uh, and then uh, getting back, uh, the probably the best thing to do is just to come back in, uh, in the taxis, just groups of a few people together. That would be the best way to do it. So thank you again to all the speakers who put in a huge amount of work preparing the program, to Inuit Homburger for organizing everything, and to all of you for coming. And uh, let's get started.